Okay, so back after Passover, a week without snuff. Um, interesting is that nose is getting very uh, clean. So with a week without snuff, uh, snuff that I wanted to review for a while is Jackson Snuff uh, Queen's Special. Give me a quick one. Um, it's a little bit after midnight here. I usually don't bite snuffs in a big tin, but this one I really like. So after the first time I got, I, this was, I got a big tin. They also gave me a discount in the first, when they already came with a tap box, and the tap box was busted and spilled snuff all over the place. You can see, um, so about a medium brown. Uh, not that fine, but not really coarse. I'd say it's a little bit moist. Clumps up with a finger there. So. Other tin, very sweet, sugary. I think it, it, now it's different than when the, the first time I tried it. Sugary, vanilla, cherry. People told me that it, it has a synthetic smell. But it's but not bad. Not bad synthetic. Like not like a synthetic banana, which is awful. Or not like bubblegum. Bazooka bubblegum, which is really popular here, which is also awful. This has a getting a lot of smell actually of the tin itself. But cherry vanilla and a bit of leather, which I'm assuming is from the tobacco itself. I'll try to pinch I, I took one just a second ago, but <coughs> also, it's now in spring, so my allergies are starting a bit. Masking a bit up. And those, you still get the sweetness, a bit more of the leather. What this reminds me of is a, oops, is a, if you have any older neighbors that used to smoke pipes, um, maybe, maybe somebody's offended now that I said older, maybe there's some younger guys that also are smoking pipes. But I remember I had a neighbor that would walk in a, around our neighborhood that would smoke a pipe. Remind me of this smell very pleasant and the smell sticks around for a long time this is one that I can take at night after a meal and then a few hours walking around still have the smell outside still have the smell in the morning when I when I wash my face with cold water I get the smell again. I, I'm not usually a big fan of, of sweet snuffs. Usually go for the more spicy, like the I have uh, talk the limited edition pumpkin pumpkin pie, or I have uh, crystals. I really like this, this one, the crystals original, or something. More medicated. I have a. I think if you saw my last video, I got a, a lot of medicated dry or talk ginger. I also like. But for the sweet ones, not fruity. But I say it really complements complements uh, the tobacco. Well, I mean, I, I don't really get the tobacco out of it. But it's kind of hard to explain. You get a tobacco feel from it. It doesn't have the the back that you get from something like after from Wilson's. You, you have a tobacco smell that's left over. But you can tell that this is a Wilson's stuff, 
or from McChrystal's, it's very similar to the Wilson's. All Toke, they have the, the same backing. This one, it has the same cherry vanilla sort of smell all the time. So, this is Jackson's Queen Special. I dropped it in on the floor. We'll leave it there for now. Um, the only place I know that you can get it is from snuff.me that UK uh, I really like also their service they, they really ship fast they especially here in Israel which is shipping is awful and they give you a tracking number that actually does something a lot of the tracking numbers they just say okay we shipped it and then there's nothing to do after that so I've, I've had things that I've ordered from them that have gotten to me in six days which is really fast U usually my orders take uh, about a month I think, I think I may be getting some corrosion on this tin here. You can see that. Let me see. Yep. Ah, I know I can't. Yep. Too many on the tin. So I'll take it off. It's actually good stuff. First snuff after about a week of no snuff. Like sweet snuffs, like tobacco. Get, get cherry, vanilla, and leather. Very nice. Something that once this gets out, I, I will definitely use it again. And know anything about me? We, I so my snuffs are kind of communal, so I let a lot of people take from my snuff. Here, it, it's popular. I, I'm assuming that in the United States, it's not so much that and if you're using snuff, you know people don't know what it is. Here, in, at least in my community, people know what snuff is. They know that I have snuff usually by me, and if they want some, they can ask for me. So people usually will go for this tin, or if I have the Wilsons, uh, the McChrystals, this one also gets used up a lot because they're almost done. But if you saw my other video, you also see that I have about 100 more of these tins. Um, and also the Wilsons Dynamite get used up really fast. So now I'm rambling more about other things. In general, um, so like I, I said though, that I'm coming back a, a week after using no snuff, and that is because the Passover holiday, in our community, we don't use snuff, even though in the middle, and during the year we do use it regularly. Um, I also want to address, in a separate video, I tried to post a thread on snuffhouse.com trying to get more information and sharing different traditions regarding snuff and it got shut down uh, there were some what I felt were offensive comments so I'm not angry at the moderators for shutting it down but I think I'll go into that in more detail in a different video at another time call to oh and also if you like this press the like button you can subscribe leave a comment if you've tried this before uh, tell me what you think. Call to.